involved in the takeover appeared in federal court today. All six of them pleaded not guilty to the federal charges they all face. And our Jennifer Dowling was in that federal courtroom. She joins us now with the latest. Jennifer. Good evening. Well, first off, Sandy Anderson was visibly the most emotional of the six. She was holding her hand over her mouth like this for much of the court appearance, holding back tears, but she was visibly crying. She also waved to her family as she was escorted out, saying thank you as she left. Now, her husband, Sean, appeared separately. He also was gesturing to family. He put his hand over his heart in a fist and then pointed to the sky. And David Fry, the occupier who had been live streaming from the refuge during the final hours, who you might think would be very vocal, well, he was very quiet and was wearing what looked like a protective vest, possibly a suicide vest. And outside the courthouse, occupier supporters showed up with signs and flags to support the six. And there were also counter protesters who said they want the occupiers to face justice. We're just here to say, hey guys, your sacrifice was noticed. Sorry you have to go through this to bring attention to a cause. Now, I may not agree with how they went about it. I may not agree when they went about it. But I absolutely agree that the grievances need to be heard. It's kind of unbelievable that uh, white guys with guns are able to do whatever they want for as long as they want, and then all of a sudden, and now that they're uh, now that they're in jail, I heard Cliven Bundy's asking for a public defender. I just I can't believe it, and I just want to express my uh, the fact that I I think they can afford their own lawyer. Also in court today, Daryl William Thorne and Jeff Stanick. Stanick was arrested in Forest Grove with a gun, according to proceedings today. Now, his attorney said he left the refuge voluntarily and was compliant with officers when he was arrested. The judge cited those as factors when releasing Stanick with conditions, including not having a weapon. Now, the other five who were not released today will remain in custody. They all have a detention hearing scheduled for next Friday. Back to you.